Or should I have been like... Bleach. It's kind of keep it a bit more professional. <laughs> well, when everyone sends you, you're here back at it again with Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War. And, you know, it's kind of coming down to that time in the season where I'm like, oh, there's only X amount of episodes left. Jeez. And then I guess we'll have to wait like another three to four months, maybe even half a year. How long did we wait between Core 1 and 2 again? Yeah, it was like six months. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, depression is setting in. But anyway, yo, listen, this episode should be a special one to say the least. Um, Komamura's back on the field. Should be taking on Bambietta. As per usual, I haven't reread the chapters these, well, this episode is based on, but I hope it's pretty straightforward and doesn't jump about the place, hopefully. But anyway, of course, leave a like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and of course, check out my 7 year anniversary video, there's that. <laughs> Which is wild if I, well, not the video itself in terms of editing or anything, but I'm just saying 7 years, that's, that's insane. But anyway, let's get into it. Bleach! <laughs> All right, here we go. Why is if Shinji just attack <laughs> instead of they try explain mobility? But no, I'm <laughs> just not learn from Aizen. Once a dog, you're not ready for this. Like I'm just kind of put Hinamura to the side ever since Aizen. <laughs> Hinamura just looks so, so, so hopeless, brother, honestly. On himself with a fresh cut. I'm loving the OST. Ah, nah, fam. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I know if we'd have the conviction if I actually just pull out my heart, so. Ooh. I'm kind of wondering, was the heart taking out really necessary? Or was he just kind of like, you're testing his conviction? But I guess based on how, you know, the technique works, I guess it should be necessary. Expecting the CGI. Right, there we go. And to be honest, it doesn't really look too bad. Like straight out of hell, brother. It, it, it's such an interesting contrast. Let me, let me just go back a bit there. Like the angle with Bambietta just flying and. You know, Bankai is in CGI, but like the contrast between it, it's an interesting experience to say the least. Why you should just go straight to you, ha? So that's not for Bambietta. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
saying, oh, that's it for Ha. But unfortunately, that's it for Komamura as well. Nah, this DJ really doesn't look bad. It just looks kind of cool. So, okay, I don't think that part was shown in the manga of him actually, you know, drinking his blood and eating his heart, I suppose. I always love the placement of these titles. But that nah, it's like a waste, bro. I mean, use this nice little trump card. I could have just went for you, huh, first, but uh, I guess it can't be held because plot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just do it again, brother. Superstar! Ow. Wait, isn't something that's supposed to come back in at this point? <laughs> As King of Lightning would say in this case. Yes, sir! They're back! <laughs> Ooh! Sidon, <laughs> man. I think one of the dumb things about this entire arc is the visor is just not using their arm. Um, yeah, hollow powers, honestly. Given the time frame, I assume we should have a bit more. Ichigo! その Okay, this is <laughs> completely new. Okay. Alright, so that was Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War. Shit, I'm literally losing track of all the episode numbers. Um, Episode 17, yeah. <laughs> Our core 2 episode 4. And definitely a decent episode, seeing some progression in the piece of this war. It's Komamura making a return after the defeat of Shinji, after Shinji continues to... Make the annoying choice to explain his abilities. You just need to attack, bro. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Jeez. But, yeah, with the Quincy activating their Volstanding, hopefully I'm doing my German <laughs> impression, my German voice right there. Um, of course, Komamura has to step back in and activate his Bankai and reveal the true nature of his training during the... Not time skip, but you know, between cores one and two, essentially, essentially gaining a uh, immortality technique of his clan. And I'm not gonna lie, like I know persons tend to be highly critical when it comes on to you know looking at CGI in your like your two D drawn anime and everything. And you know, some anime do it better than some, but honestly, in this particular case, the CGI with Komamura's Bankai. Similarly to, let me see what I could compare it to more recently. 
not demon, not, not the CGI fish. There was something more recently that wasn't bad at all, but I can't remember. But the point is, the CGI looks pretty good, if, if I'm being honest, in my honest opinion, or at least the way it contrasts with the 2D elements of the episode, it definitely, definitely worked. But I think personally, like subjectively, the annoying thing is like, yo, Komomura should have just went for Yuha like he originally planned to. Um, I, I'm kind of dying for more context because when it comes on to the manga, I don't think we get to see any more of Komomura after this. And we did get that new scene of his, you know, his family or his clan member seemingly eating his heart to, I guess it's implied that he does that to live longer. So I need some more context there because I don't know if Komomura died even from the manga perspective or what. <laughs> so it's kind of ambiguous there. That's a bit of a, uh, I guess a nitpick for me. So it's like, uh, where does his character go after this? But I guess on the flip side of things, it can also be implied since he kind of took up this whole mantle of revenge, so to speak. He's basically, his, his days of doing anything are basically done. Or at least that's what's implied, I believe, uh, as well. But, jeez. Uh, I mean, it would, just, it would have been so useful to use that against Yuha. Granted, I think Yuha would have outlasted him. And if, especially if this is like Yuha later on in the, the in the arc, yeah, it probably wouldn't have lasted long enough to actually beat Yuha, to be honest. Just being, uh, manga readers know. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, Of course, the Bambi, Bambi is still alive, even after being defeated by Komamura and the you know, similarly to when to there was a shadow over Toshiro last episode after it beat Kandu. And it seems like it's... I think this episode is kind of implying that GG or the Bambis are the ones that approach Toshiro. Maybe, just maybe. So it's kind of setting up something in terms of GG's power. So that could probably turn the tide of this current battle that's as, you know, Ashwald and Kuraku are saying are kind of, it's kind of evening out. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that going forward. And of course, as a manga reader as well, the two lights that came from the sky, it's a good indication. Yo, I'm just going to... Probably should be professional, but I'm just saying next episode should be very interesting. Given the piercing, um, yeah, we should, we should see a certain someone go up against Mucha Lucha! <laughs> go up against him. Um, and see the results of their, you know, training, so to speak. So I won't, I won't spoil, but it's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that one of one of the final things is Kensei and Rose. Like <sighs> again, uh, this arc, I know what persons have been talking about this for years. The lack of the visors actually using their hollow powers when it comes on to the war and. No explanation, it's just they're just not using it, which is very odd to me. I, I don't know, it just seems weird. Like, I don't know if I should use that as a mark against the episode per se, because they haven't really started fighting, but it's more of like an arc thing. And I don't know if it's going to be changed within the anime. It would be nice to see like some new scenes in next week's episode when it comes on to this, just to, you know have Kubo work with the studio to make it make more sense <laughs> or give a reason why they're not doing it. So I'm just hoping, just hoping. But um, more or less, that's, that's pretty much it. And of course, the end sequence with Ichigo and his <clears throat> Soul King training, it, 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 it's, it's a very interesting addition they've been doing with those scenes with Ichigo's training. Um, because manga-wise, after getting his new Zanpakuto and all of that, he would have just... One of the next times we'd have seen him is him with his new clothes and everything, getting ready to go back down to Soul Society, essentially. And uh, based on how that sequence ended, it does seem like he's about to get those, like, said new clothes, given who he bumped into at the end of the tunnel, which is still a strange transition to me. But I guess since he's passed his test, it's like, okay, yeah, we can get you ready now. But I need more context for, you know, what Ichibe was trying to do with Ichigo walking through, you know, that tunnel there. As he was saying, like, he was trying to test if his vessels were worthy of the 
you know, power that fills it. But I need, I need something more like non-vague. I need something clear cut, please. Like, what was Ichibe trying to do? Will we get more scenes of Ichibe talking about what was the purpose of um, him going through? What was it called? Iranzu Sando. Hopefully, I'm getting that name right. Probably getting it wrong, but yeah, it's something, please. So. Yeah, but based on how things are going and who we bumped into, I forgot that member, the name of the member of the Zero Squad. Forgot her name, but yeah, she's gonna more than like craft him new clothes. Well, the new clothes we see him have later on in the manga before coming back to Soul Society. So yeah, but I would imagine we should get a scene of like some dialogue or something before anything else. But that was a really strange but very engaging and immersive experience, as from the perspective of a manga reader. Definitely. But all in all, pretty decent episode. Can't knock it too much. And I'm looking forward to next episode and specifically when Ichigo comes back because they have to play number one. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, right, Sanjay Uchiha, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next Bleach! <laughs>